In this video, we're going to get you set up to successfully take your virtual training course. The first thing we need to do is to verify that we're using a supported browser. Currently, we recommend Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, using either a private window or incognito window. We also recommend you avoid connecting through any VPNs or web proxies. These can sometimes hinder your ability to connect. Next, let's test our compatibility with the Red Hat Training Lab environment. In the first dropdown, we want to select Virtual Training. Under Location, select Country. Next up, insert your full name, your email, and your Red Hat customer ID. When you're finished filling those out, click Run Tests. Be patient, it might take a minute or two to see your results. As you can see here, I have all green check marks under bandwidth, latency, resolution in my browser. If any of these tests have failed, you may need to think about network or machine upgrades in order to have an optimal experience during your course. If you need any additional help, please contact virtual training at redhat.com for assistance. On day one of your course, sign in at least 15 minutes early. Start by logging into role.redhat.com using your RH account ID. As you can see, my VT course is listed. Click join class. This brings us to the main virtual training page. Join your course by clicking the enter classroom button. This will open the interactive presentation that your instructor is hosting. It's important to enter your full name so the instructor knows who you are. Your web browser might ask for permission to use your microphone and camera, so click Allow. Double check your camera, microphone, and speaker settings, and then click Join Meeting. Since we signed in using both our first and last name, our instructor can easily identify us. It looks like we still have a few minutes before our class begins, so let's go download our student guide. Simply click the link here. Choose the language of the ebook that you prefer, then fill out the required information and wait for the download to begin. Once it's finished downloading, you can open it with the PDF reader of your choice. Finally, let's click the Labs tab so we can check out the lab environment. Since you're taking a virtual training course, you'll find that your lab environment has already been started for you. Simply click the Open Console button next to the workstation. And just wait for the lab environment to open. This is where you'll be performing your exercises and labs. And while we still have a few minutes before our course begins, let's click Watch Tutorial. Watching this video will give us an in-depth look about all the features you'll find inside of our lab environment. Thank you for watching. We hope you have a great virtual training course.